Hey guys, how you doing today? I got some uh, coins to showcase and the first one here we got um, is a coin uh, a nice gesture coin from uh, CCT uh, for those of you who don't know what this is it is an older uh, Britannia from 2007 we're so used to the newer design but back in the day they had different kinds of designs and uh, this one has the lion with the woman and the shield a really nice uh, Britannia design from the past and uh, uh, CCT was kind enough to send one for me uh, thank you very much CCT uh, this one I believe is not 0.999 I think it's 0.92 or something like that uh, but uh, one of the ones that I really wanted to get which was hard to find here so he got one from England and sent it over to me right so that is the uh, Britannia from 2007 take a nice look there and perhaps you might have seen uh, this one here uh, I won this from CCT's contest he sent me this one uh, the koala from 2000 uh, what year is this uh, I forget let's turn around 2009 so two years apart both are really nice I like the golf ball dimple like surface on this coin so these are two very nice coins from CCT uh, got them in my collection so let's put this one over here and on to the next coin, which is a Wedgetail Eagle from 2015. Now, this is a beautiful coin from last year. The same design and everything, but here it is. Ooh, that looks like a perfect 70, doesn't it? Wow. That is smoking clean. Hmm. Maybe I should uh, consider grading this, huh? But uh, if anybody's interested in uh, this coin, uh, I will offer it for a very good price. Um, it just so happens that I had to add another one in my cart uh, from a, an Australian dealer, and if I added it, it gave me free shipping. So, uh, you know, for those of you who are interested in this one, let me know. I'm sure those of you who collected the 2014 will continue collecting this one 2015 it is a John McCanty Eagle so we'll see how this one goes all right put this one away I think the mintage for this one is 5,000 and then I have uh, that same coin in a slab I think I showed this one you, to you guys well maybe maybe not I don't know uh, I have uh, these available if anybody wants to uh, own this for their collection. Again, very nice, clean, proof-like coin. You can see the camera and everything. I have these for sale. Okay. And I also have uh, the Kookaburra, also in the same grade, 69. Uh, it has the restoration and the uh, you know the shield here right so a uh, friend of mine well not close friend but a friend of mine graded some of these and he offered to uh, send me some to me and and said hey offer if you want to offer them to your subs you can so I have some here in stock very nice coin. I mean between I mean, I've done videos for Cuckoo Bear vs Wedge both are just you know awesome coins and uh, right now you know it's it's still 2015 but down the line these should be one of those really especially the kookaburra should be a nice classic coin I don't even know if they're gonna make another proof coin or not so yeah these are nice to have in your collection okay uh, so here's another Wedgetail Eagle the five ouncer which I wanted to keep um, this is a 2015 it's PR70 decam I'm putting it up for sale at issue price plus shipping whatever the shipping is to US residents um, the reason why I'm selling this is because I'm trying to fund it to something else and um, 
I will, whoever buys it, or if this sells, I will do a video on the thing that I am trying to buy. So stay tuned for that, okay? Now this is the five ounce high relief Westchel Eagle PR70. You get all the, the box and everything like that, okay? And then I have this one here, the uh, longest reigning monarch coin. Uh, small, but very nice. And I might consider getting the one from RCM. It's colored, and they have the one from Perth, which is like a reverse proof. So I might get one of those. I'll show you the back on this side here. It's Queenie. All right. And last but not least, I got an, a wallet from uh, 24K. Thank you very much for this. And it has a compartment to put, you know, like a silver or a gold bar inside there. Right? You can put it in like this. Oh. Right? And since, you know, Saudi in, in that area, you know, the Middle East, it, gold is, a, uh, you know, um, what do you call it? Uh, commonly uh, accepted over there. So, this is the wallet that I got. You know, pretty cool. I like this compartment for the for the, the precious metal here. Not too bad I don't have one ounce gold bars, but you know, I'll use this one here for demonstration purposes. And that is what I have for you guys today. All right. So thanks for watching. You have any comments, uh, questions? Uh, Ooh, there's a telephone number for this uh, company here. Um, uh, just uh, leave the comments down below and, and I will get back to you guys. All right, thanks.